welcome back to the channel guys yaji here thank you for clicking to watch in today's video i will show you how i prepare fluted pumpkin leaves fluted pumpkin is known in cameroon as okongobong and in some parts of nigeria as ugu this particular recipe does not use a goosey and i believe the name for it is edikai kong so this is a farm to table video where we go to the backyard, harvest vegetables from the backyard, and then it becomes dinner later on, which is the essence of growing a garden. Please, if you're new to this channel, kindly consider subscribing. And as you watch, please do not forget to hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate your support. A lot of the ingredients mentioned in this video are available at Mama Ruth if you're interested what's up to order thank you hey tribe welcome back to the kitchen yaji here i'm in the kitchen about to cook okongobong without a goosey and i thought i should share with you so here's the okongobong or ogu freshly harvested from the garden i'm going to be using water leaves these are water leaves that i harvested back in when is this back in june and i preserved in the freezer one pound of water leaves i'm also going to use crayfish unjanga some palm oil and in here i have my protein cooking so in here i have my protein it's a mix of beef some cow skin some smoked fish well seasoned with salt lots of hot pepper ginger and garlic and it has cooked now for about half an hour and I'm ready to start cooking so here's the okongobong or the ugu fresh from the garden I've already picked it from the stems and washed it so I'm gonna go ahead now and slice it up into very thin slices but first I'm gonna put the water leaves in here to start cooking especially since it's frozen dump it in there i'm gonna add some palm oil so that the color stays green okay i have the leaves arranged aligned like this so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this part and throw away because it's tough. So we throw away that part and then this is the part that I'm going to slice. I'm gonna try to slice it as thinly as possible. Okay, our water leaf has cooked down, as you can see. Now I'm going to add the powdered shrimp, that's our anjanga, for flavor. Mix that in. Then next, I'm going to add the vegetables as we cook on the It's 
going to give up give off water it's too much fat so I'm take this one. add more oil What the water leaf does is it softens the vegetable. It softens the open water. ready it's ready when it starts to burn at the bottom a little bit okay. yeah when it starts to burn a little at the bottom like that it means it's ready we are going to enjoy this with some water to cool I've shared the recipe of the homemade butter fufu on this channel and I'm going to link it up in the description box. It's ready.